Good morning friends, welcome to my channel Talent and Tech Global Infotech. Today I came with one topic that is LTERF interview questions and answers. But uh, I have already given that Hindi uh, LTERF interview questions and answers but here I came with the English topic that LTERF interview questions and answers. Okay, that will be very easy if you go for any interview, for normal interview also they are asking for some very simple questions. So I came with some uh, 10 to 12 questions for the LTRF interview. Let's come with one by one. Okay, what is the interview questions I have add, uh, added here? We can see here what is the LT, what is the goal of LT, what is the speed LT offers, what is the LT advance, what is LT architecture, LT interface list, how does intra intra handover is performed, what is SON and how does it works in the LT, uh, what does the timing advance works in the LT, what is carrier aggregation in the LT advance, and what is IP, IP multimedia subsystems. These are the important questions uh, if you are going for any basic interview questions in RF. So, uh, you should uh, remember all these things what is LTA, what is the speed, what is L difference between LT and LT advanced. If you go through my previous build too, I have given about the LT and L LT advanced difference also. So, you can go through it and you can subscribe my channel also so you can understand very easily. So, here let's come with the answers. I have given you the questions here what is the LT. So, first we will go one by one what is the LT. Here you can say here LT, full form of LT you can say this is a long term evolution. It is initiated by 3GPP that designed to provide the provide up to 10, 10x the speed of 3G network from the mobile device such as a smartphone, tablet, netbacks, netbooks, netbooks and wireless hotspots. We can see here that whatever we are getting the 3G network speeds. So here in the LTE technology we will get 10 times faster speed and quality will be improved. This is our LTE technology. Our main motto was to improve uh, come with the LTEs means we have to improve the data services, sorry data throughput and uh, voice quality of the network. So we came with the LTE, LTE technologies. Then what is the LTE goal? What is the LTE goal? We, I already told you here in the first question only, only the main goal of LTE is to provide a high data rate, low latency and packet optimized radio access technology supporting flexible bandwidth deployment. The goal of LTE includes improvement as spectra efficiency, lowering cost, improved services, making use of new spectrum and reform spectrum opportunities. These are the main goals of LTE technologies. Okay. Let's come with the next topic. What is the, the uh, quick uh, for uh, what is the speed LTE offers? If we we'll go through here, LTE provides download peak rate at least 100 Mbps and uploading speed is coming M 50 Mbps. But if we we'll go through the practical, it is not coming. So still we are in the 3G if you are telling about the LTE technology this is the 3G 3.9G. 3, 3 Here the peak rate we are telling that is at least 100 Mbps but if you go in the practical life, practical network. So we are still we are not able to achieve 100 Mbps or 50 Mbp, Mbps in the uplink and downlink speed. Okay. Once LTE advance will come then we can get the more than 100 Mbps data speed approx 300 to 400 Mbps and that, and that uploading will be more than 100 mbps that will be LT and LT advanced difference but uh, it, it, this is the theoretical value whatever we are showing here that is 100 mbps 50 mbps in LT advanced that uh, theoretical value will be different but if we go to the practical value that practical value will be different so here we came with what is the LT advanced I already told you this the LT advanced is a mobile communication standard and is a major enhancement of the LTE standard I told you we have to improve in the LTE standard we have improved here and we came with our LTE advanced technology. Okay, LTE advanced is the next major step in the evolution of our LTE network. It is a new technology, new network technology that expected to massive increase in the mobile data demand and deliver much higher data speed for all. That is means better coverage, greater stability, and faster performance. I already told you here whatever we are getting 100 Mbps data speed that will be improved because we are not this is this speed is not okay. Okay. We want more data speed, we more quality, we more better coverage, uh, uh, whatever we are getting currently in the LTE network. So we came with the LTE advanced technologies. This is LTE advanced. Okay. Next, uh, we can come here with questions. What what is LTE architecture? We can see here in the picture what is LTE architecture. We have connected e LTE means one mobile device will be there. There will be interface. UV interface will be where this will be connected to E node B and E node B, E node B, E node B to E node B connection will be with X2 interface and E node B with MME connectivity will interface will be S1 MME and uh, this one be S1 U interface will connect to SG SR wing gateway 
and remaining S6A with the SSS, S11 with the serving gateway, S5, S8 will be PD, PDN gateway and SGX is PCRF, SGI with the IP multimedia services. If you go through the LT basic architecture, then you can draw here LT, EV, then UTRO and EPC and IMS services is the basic architecture you can draw. But if you want in full details, we can uh, in more expansion, then you have to show this one. In the full picture you have to show in the anywhere if the interviewer is going to ask you. Otherwise, in the simple way, you can add here UV, Eutron, and EPC, and the next IPC. You can see here, I have already mentioned here also. So, you can remember that will be very easy to remember. And for interface topics, I have already added some videos on interface also. So, you can go through my channel and you can get it the interface, what is the interface, and what is the use of interface from where to where it is connected. All these things I have given about the interface here in the previous video. We can go and check it. Let's come in the next talk. As you can see here, what is the LT interface? Same whatever is there I have shown in the shown here. In that uh, E node B from where to where it is connected. How it is interface? We are going to use LT to E node B and MME to E node B. HSS to MME and serving gateway to PD gateway. All these things I have given here. That LT interface. These are the LT interface here, S1, MME, S1, same thing, whatever I have shown in the architecture. And so I have written here. So it will be very easy to remember also, you can go through here, yes, you can see here, S1 is already here, there is no need to remember S7 and S8. So if we we'll go with the continue S1, MME, S1, U, S2, we leave it, S3, S4, S5, S6, A, S7, we leave it, S8, S9, 10, 11, 12, 30. And remaining extra, you have to remember the S, G, I. GX, but uh, from where where we are going to this interface we have, we are going to use it, then we have to remember this architecture from where to where this interface we are going to use it. That is correct. Let's come with the next uh, questions. Okay, how does intra EU handover is performed? Intra EU handover is used to handover a UE from a source in order to a target in order to using X2 when the MME is unchanged. Just you have to remember it's intra handover happens when MME is going to unchanged and this inter and this handover intra 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 handover happen or performs between source in B to target in node B. That is correct. Next next you can with what is SON and how does it work in the LTE. SON is self configuring self optimizing network or wireless network it is not a new concept but the new but the mobile networks are evolving towards the 4g network introducing self configuration and self optimizing mechanics in needed to minimize the operational effect as a self optimized function would increase network performance and quality re reacting to dynamic process in the network wherever that uh, uh, where, wherever the network uh, network need previous we have seen okay if you have to change, going to change the tilt or might be our KPI is not working, uh, if KPI is not good, so we have to go for the physically, we have to change the tilt, we have to change something, um, TA value or a lot of things, so we have to change through the manually. But here through the self optimization network, that the configuration will happen, uh, configuration will happen and optimization will happen without manually. So this will be very useful now in the LTE technology, but but it, this is a not, not a new technology, self optimization network. Second last we can come here, how does LT uh, timing advance work in the LTE? It, if we'll go through that we, uh, in LTE, the timing advance initiated from a U-turn with the MAC message that implies an adjustment of the timing advance. In LTE, when UE wish to establish RRC connection with the E node B, it transmits a random access preamble. E node B est estimates the transmission timing of the terminal based on this. Now E node B transmits a random access response which consists of timing advance command. Based on that, EV adjusts the terminal tra transmit timing. This is the theoretical. If we we'll go through the practical timing advance, we can see from where to that uh, how much kilometer, how much kilometer that uh, our signal is going to transmit, uh, our antenna is going to transmit the signal. It is, if it T is T is zero, then you can see it is 450 meter or 550 meter. It is going to transmit the same. We have to calculate it. Five point if it, it is T A value is, is equal to one, two, three then add it 550, 550, 550, it, whatever is there, it will go through the, if, we, if TA value is approximately 
5 then you have to calculate 550 into 5 it is 2.5 kilometer it will drop me so you have to find the you have to find that uh, through the TA value you can find the oversitting and all these things and we can restrict the oversitting through the, uh, with the help of timing advance checking this is the timing advance next one is what is carrier aggregation in the LT advance to meet LT advance requirement I told you that we have to increase our data speed so here we came with a carrier aggregation in the LT so we have added in LT carrier aggregation in LT advance to meet the LT advanced requirement support of wider transmission bandwidth they require the 20 megahertz bandwidth express ride in 3 GPP release 8 and 9 this preferred solution to this carrier aggregation it is the most distinct feature of LT 4G LT advanced carrier aggregation allow expansion of effective bandwidth delivered to the user terminal through concurrent utilization of radio resource across multiple carrier multiple component carriers aggregated to form a large or retransmission bandwidth okay this was the carrier aggregation in LTE advance now the last is I what is IP IMS means IP multi multimedia subsystem the 3GPP IP multimedia subsystem technology provide an architectural framework for delivering IP based multimedia services IMS enables telecom service provide to offer a new generation of rich multimedia service across both circuit switch and packet switch network that is IP multimedia services. IP multimedia services offers access to IP based service independent, independent of the access network. That was the questions and uh, I have given you a lot of the basic things about LT uh, questions and answers. Hope you like this uh, questions and, and uh, it, it will improve your technology, it, it will improve your knowledge. If you like then please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Please thanks.